What's up guys and welcome back to another Diablo 3 how-to guide. In this video, I'm going to be going over the strategy for running bounties, whether it be in group or solo, but most likely you're going to be doing it in group. And then we'll go over some tips at the end for how to handle your Herodric caches and kind of how to approach bounties when you're starting a new season. Getting started first with the strategy. You should never ever, I think, run bounties solo. It takes a long time. And in a group, it can be really efficient. You can even get it done in less than 10 minutes, all 25 bounties, in sometimes even 15 minutes if you know things are going a little slow. But for instance, when you join a multiplayer public game to do bounties, the first thing you should do is make sure everybody should go to a separate act. There's four players, there's five acts, everybody should pick a separate act. For me, I usually almost always jump into the game and immediately go to act four. Then everybody else will kind of like fall into place and for the most part everybody will dodge act five because it's a little more complicated than the other acts and then whenever people are done with their assigned act then everybody will converge onto act five so like i said i'll go to act four and i'll just pick any one of these and you can just work my way once i get all five done i will not go back to town no one should go back to town and collect the uh, cash instead you should just jump on to the next act if that act is almost done it maybe has like one bounty or so left then go ahead and start on act five because other people will actually get there and help you finish it as well and this is how you can actually get all 25 done with four people in about 10 minutes as far as what you should be doing while you're running bounties the individual ones you should be killing all of the champion elites to get the dbs death breasts and then you also obviously have a chance to come across the treasure goblins you should always call out any you know blood shard or uh ones that split apart i think they're gladness uh goblins or something like that call them out to the party and so they can all you know show up and take it down with you same thing with like rainbow goblins sometimes you'll find Whimsydale portals that you can go into so kind of just as a common courtesy and best practices call that stuff out also you should never be picking up anything other than legendaries or sets and gems the reason you do this is because if one of the other players does decide to go ahead and talk to Tyrael and get the cash if your inventory is full you will drop that item wherever you're at and you might actually miss it completely it's happened to me it's happened to people i know and it's really hard to like track down exactly where it fell so i always try to keep my inventory as clean as possible in case that does happen another key thing to note is whenever a player goes to fight a boss let's say like belial or diablo or whatever when they go to do that bounty when they go to enter that boss fight everybody in the game will get a prompt don't uh, don't click that prompt if you go to that boss fight with somebody else you're actually uh, costing the group the efficiency and the speed that you can complete bounties and also you should never go to the same act unless it's act five and everybody's converging there or even the same bounty as somebody else because every time you do that you're slowing down progress for the entire thing usually when you get to torment 13 and people are really high level geared and they're doing bounties if you go to one act and you go at your pace through all five chances are by the time you get done everybody else will be really really close to getting done as well so if you see one player is on the last bounty over here I wouldn't teleport to them I would just go over to Westmarsh and do start doing these if they are even on the last one there as well instead of clicking on the actual you know waypoint here click on their portrait frame to teleport right to them and that'll also speed things up as well all right now for some tricks you should do at the Herodric cache also some information on the how they work as well whenever you are granted the Herodric cache your the item levels and the items themselves are determined before you even open it right based on the level of the character that you collected it with but when you open the cache then the stat rolls are determined by who is opening it so i use this tactic if i want to go let's say on my you know gear demon hunter do a bunch of bounties save the caches go over to let's say the witch doctor and open everything and i'll get you know intellect rolls on stuff another trick that i advise you to do if you're starting new seasons since you, you won't really have the space to carry a lot of blood shards what you can do is you can actually just stockpile these caches in your stash and once you get to the point where you know you need the mats or you need the blood shards you have a good condensed uh, collection of plans gold blood shards items and all that stuff i'll usually when i'm starting a season stock you know an entire tab or two while i'm in the first month of the season and then when i get to 70 and it actually matters then I can just open them all and you know have a good supply of blood shards if I'm really wanting to push to try to get a certain item for my build. Now, 
what you need to notice here is if you do a lot of bounties and you get cash and then save them and then you get to 70 and you open the caches those items are going to be the level at which you were when you got them but another trick you can do is if let's say you need this the pauldrons of the skeleton king and you know you had it drop out of the cache that you got when you were let's say level 20 what you can do is you go to the cube and when you reforge that legendary when it re-rolls it'll actually re-roll to your current level which would be level 70. the legendaries that drop out of the herodric caches are unique to the axe that you get them so in the description of this video i will provide a list of each of the legendaries that are specific and unique and exclusive to the axe for bounties and then also kind of how the bounty material scales with difficulty because all of the contents of these herodric caches will go up at the, the higher you get in torment as far as farming goes and bounties they're the most efficient thing to do when you're starting a new season and the reason why is because when you do bounties and i'll just go ahead and open up a few of these Haraja caches for you to show you kind of what is inside as you can see here you're going to get blood shards you're going to get gems you're going to get other crafting mats legendaries that you can convert into the forgotten souls and then also your act specific your bounty mats and that's what you're used to extract legendary powers into the queue. Furthermore, you're also going to get more, uh, you're going to get death breaths from killing champions and leech you come across. And also you'll find goblins and everything else for even more bonus loot as well. You get pretty much everything you need at the beginning of the game except for, you know, greater rift keystones. So when you start leveling your character in a season, once you get to pass a certain point, start doing bounties. And then when you hit 21, go into, you know, rifts and then, you know, from there you go to greater rifts and all that stuff like that but as you can see when you start getting all this stuff you know if you stockpile it in your stash it really adds up and also it allow you to get all of the all the recipes for the blacksmith and the jeweler and all that stuff also as a bonus note if you have completed greater rift 60 when you open bounty chest you can also get primals all right guys i hope this uh, guide helped you out in understanding how to run bounties and you know some tricks with the herodric cache if you like diablo content or blizzard content in general hit the subscribe button hit the like button to see more and i'll see you guys next time